नमस्ते गाइस सो दिस इज द पार्ट टू ऑफ द सीरीज डेल्फ बी वन एंड हाउ टू स्कोर गुड मार्क्स इन योर डेल्फ बी वन ऑल राइट बिफोर वी स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो आई एम थैंकफुल टू माई टीचर ऑल राइट मदाम पदमा मदाम उषा मदाम अश्मी मिस्यो चेतन मिस सोमा एंड देर आर मेनी 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 मोर टीचर्स लाइक प्रियंका मैम एंड ऑल uh for teaching me french language all right it's just because of them that i was able to crack uh, my c2 level and uh, that to in science i'm thankful to you guys so <clears throat> today we'll going to uh, focus on more precise content more precise content all right now here i'm talking about the content content means what's in there in the body of the letter all right so here After writing all those, after completing all those formalities, you are going to write. Je vous remercie d'avance de bien vouloir confirmer la bonne réception de ce mail. All right. In case, in case if there is a com- complaint mail, or in case if you are a boss, in that case you can use this line. That I am thankful to you that you have confirmed the 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 incoming of the mail or something like that. All right. This is the format. <clears throat> now in case if you have to uh, say the same thing in a different manner in a better manner you can write j'accuse reception de votre mail et vous en remercie all right now if you observe carefully if you observe carefully then you will observe that j'accuse reception de votre mail means i acknowledge the receipt of your email all right i acknowledge the it's basically concerning the acceptance all right i uh, i acknowledge receipt of your email and thank you for it all right and in case if you want to increase the level in a better uh, better manner and that too in uh, in order uh, suppose if it's it's a kind of a com- complaint in a, a formal complaint then you will write nayo reçu de vos nouvelles je me permets de vous relancer au sujet de mon mail on date du blah 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 here you need to write the date here you have to write you are writing that since i have not received your email or your mail i am writing you this thing for xyz things all right then you can write whatever the whatever the topic of your complaint is for example suppose your refrigerator is not working in that and you are uh, writing multiple complaints and there is there is no reply in that case you can write this mail all right now suppose the content is semi formal in that case then merci d'avance de me confirmer la reception de ce mail again here here we are saying that thank you कि आपने हमारी मेल को एक्सेप्ट कर लिया एंड ऑल दैट यू हैव एक्सेप्टेड आर मेल एंड ब्ला 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 इट्स अ वेरी सी आई एम हैव डिवाइडेड दिस थिंग इन थ्री पार्ट्स फॉर सबसे पहले इज्जत वाला फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेरी मच रिस्पेक्ट सेकंड या देयर इज रिस्पेक्ट इन द थर्ड वन देयर इज नो रिस्पेक्ट ऑल राइट सो जे बिया रिसीव योर मेल ए जे बुजो जे बुजो रेमर्सी ओके आई हैव रिसीव्ड योर मेल एंड आई एम थैंकफुल टू यू इन दिस मैनर ऑल राइट एंड लास्ट Pourriez vous accuser réception de mon mail envoyé le bla 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 can you uh, yeah in this one accuser means acknowledge here it is acknowledge all right can you acknowledge the reception of the mail uh, the, uh, the the receiving of my mail all right that's how you have to write here <coughs> there ne either you can write uh, the date or the day if i would have to choose i would write day or you know le uh, dernier and then write a word here like saman mua and all accordingly accordingly keep this in mind all right now in the last informal informal merci de me dire si tu as bien reçu mon mail here you are saying that you know thanks for informing me in advance it's like you are in telling this person to you know inform you about the uh, the acceptance of the mail or the receiving of the email all right or mail all right or merci pour ton mail bien reçu c'est noté that's how you can write all right the tu as vu mon mail all right tell me see 
here there is hardly any respect it means the uh, the the conversation very very informal all right keep this in mind now this is the end of part 2 thank you <clears throat> all right the main thing in this thing is that have you seen uh, can you guys observe that in the formal mail in the semi formal mail and in the informal email what is the difference see if you will going to do this kind of mistake of not distinguishing between these three patterns you'll end up losing your marks all right and your aim should be to score good marks and that's it nothing else so that's it and thank you guys god bless you all